G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. Let me just focus on the beer without, I don't know if that helped, I don't know, I'll use my camera. And Bob, our tech guy, we've got this incense going, look at the vibe. Anyways, look what I've got. And I'll tell you about my night, which was absolutely, so far a wonderful night. Uh, the teenager's graduation which was at one of the uh, race courses here. And we had a feed and some drinks and I had a few beers and um, I had a, a couple of cans of rum, a bit of angry juice, but I don't get angry. And uh, yeah, I had, about a, had a handful of stone and woods and, and you know, the, the girls were dressed up beautifully, beautiful frocks and gowns. The parents, some of these parents, in, so I'm in a small town, so I mean, I've seen these kids at five, six years old kindy year one to six seven to twelve there's been a lot of kids in that class that have known each other for a lot of years man and growing up and you know i wish i saw her i don't know he looked amazing beautiful suit we got it from the op shop he wanted to but this suit like a three-quarter you know long tails and it's split but he's six foot four six foot five so he pulls it off because he's like anyway before i crack this let's go i'll, I'll, I'll jab it later another one i don't know if i've done this or not but you know what frontal two a's uh, juice punch. If I've done this before, I apologise. I just want something nice after drinking stone and wood and just, which is nothing bad with that. But I want to come home and have a nice, good beer. Five point, look, eight, I think it is, ABV. Big can, four, 40 mil whopper dopper can. Um, incense is smelling lovely. Bit of lavender today. Frontal brewing, uh, brewing, brewing, New Zealand brew up. Two standard drinks on the schnoz. A little bit of a spiel. New England IPA. Eh, not, not much of a spiel. Pretty lazy spiel. I love the can. The can looks funky. Let's get it into the glass. Oh, yeah. Um, look. My... Oh, good crack of the can. Firm. I thought it would be weak, but it was a firm crack. Um, you know, just seeing his friends, seeing some dads and mums and... The meal was okay, you know, I'm not there for the food, are you? They're just they have a good time. And you don't get in their way, and you don't be that, you know, you just, oh, look, everyone's different. I try not to be that cringy parent, I just let them go. I've got a couple of beautiful photos, man. You don't get a lot of them when they're teenagers, do you? And I'm probably going to focus on that tonight. Because maybe I need a yarn, you know, you go out to parties as a teenager, you've got to find your feet, but one thing you can't do especially where distance is the tyranny, is drive a car pissed. I love having a beer. I had a designated driver tonight. He doesn't. He doesn't drink. But I said to him, if you have one fucking drink, you stay there, you sleep in your car, you can't get pinged, mate. You can't. Or hurt someone else or do something fucking stupid, tragedies in some of these events. And I'm not sounding negative, but... Very... Very, I'm just getting mosaic and citra. Very, if you like your fruit beers, you've got to try Frontal with a few A's in it. Very nice, smelling beer. Very good looking beer. A, a, the head dissipates a bit quick. But you know what? Ah, people come and go like a bad head on a beer. Let's go. I'm pumped for this, man. I'm just glad to be home. And you know what? There's an after party going tonight at one of the girls' houses. The parents are probably there. They surely. And they'll be, you know, they're on property out, probably Junction Hill or something. And But, you know, I think some kids are like, they go out there for one or two beers and they just go, oh, I just want to go home. Whereas I always said to the teenager, I said, sometimes you'll want to go out there and have a beer just to conform and let loose a bit or whatever. But, I said, if you don't want to, go out there, be polite, be amazing, be a nice person, just come home. You know, just don't fuck up your licence and, you know, which you can only teach them. I probably rambled on a bit about that, but well, maybe I need a, you know. Mm. 
That is just six. I should be straight up. Oh, and maybe it's just because I've had four stone and woods. I think I had three or four stone and woods. And this is the funny thing. You go there and the school announces this right. There's a bar there with barmen and... Oh, we're not opening the bar till 7pm until your entree served. And look, liquor licence conditions, it's not. It's just the school. Maybe they just didn't want parents to get messy or kids to get messy. I get that. But at the end of the day, we're goddamn adults. If you want to go somewhere and have a beer and all that, especially when you've got 100 people around you plus you don't know, well, you know some of them, but, you know, you want to take that edge. I'll have a couple of quieties, you know, there's cabs around to get home, and I don't know. Now, let's focus on the beer. Front Hull, New Zealand Brewing, mate, they do some good beers. Beer for thought. I'm sure I've done this before, and if I've said it's bad, I need a good slap in the face, or three or four stone woods previously. I think any of us that have had kids, <laughs> here we go again, you know, when they're first getting their peas and they're out and about, I'm telling you, and Gumball R1, you are going to go through this too, my brother, from another mother. You just go, you, you'll never forget the first time the car leaves, I reckon. Well, maybe I'm just different, but, you know, I didn't have family, so I'm sort of like, fucking shit fight childhood, but, ah, oh, fuck it, man, I'm here now. I met a guy. Sounds sketchy. I met a guy and he um, he does Uber and taxi enforcement operations through the RMS. Just goes and busts people. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't like going around. Like, if I ever did that, I just don't want to find people. I'd just be like, caution, caution. Unless you're a dickhead. You know, I don't know. Throwing out fines. and You know... Some of these young blokes and girls, they their peas fall off, they have mistakes. You know, you're learning. And I think enforcement should come down the latter. Education, some cautions, just unless you're doing stupid shit, give them a break. You know, stop fucking st stupid fucking tickets at like 11.06pm, oh, you got an extra passenger, you're taking your mate home, you're not drunk, you, you, you made a mistake, you're helping your mate. Six minutes, I'll give him a ticket. <sighs> really? Hope it makes you feel good. And you know what they do, or it does. Oh, fuck it, man. I'm not ragging on the boys in blue. I'm not ragging on the, anyone like that. But I just think there's good and bad in everything. And when you get a dickhead, it can really root your life up just because you made one mistake. And, oh, I'd rather be the guy that goes, okay, you made a mistake. Let's fucking yeah, get you home safe. You'll be right. Don't do it again. I think the problem these days is people are just so accountable. Everybody's just so accountable. And it's getting to the point where yeah, just, uh, this world just seems to be getting harder and harder to exist in, I reckon. Not sounding morbid. But yeah, dinner was, uh, the entree, there was, I think, Arancini or Arancini balls. And you know what? My son and I, like the teenager, we sat there and had a meal and, you know, the missus is there too, and it was just nice. And um, that's not his mum. She didn't even turn up, mate. I haven't spoken to her for years, and I don't care. But she didn't even turn up at his graduation. It's like, it's pretty fucking bad, man. And I'm telling you guys and girls, I'm blessed with a, I'm blessed with a kid, a teenager, a young man that's just, I like his style. I like his style. And I love him. I love him. And he's my family, my only family, apart from the missus. And, you know, but real family, like blood. I don't know, I beat my chest a bit and I fucking love the guy. I don't baby him, I don't fucking lolly him. He's just a good kid, so... 
I can only tell him and teach him. And it's probably just, it sinks in every step of the way through year 12, their last exam, their last this. I'm telling you, the grifter, your kids will be going through it too. You know, anyone else has got a lot of people got kids these days, guys and girls. You know, I think I might just finish this one. And you know what, I'm not going to lie if I don't say I'm going to stay up a bit. Just to make sure the phone doesn't beep and he needs something and all. And you know the good thing, even my partner said to me, if he needs a lift home, I'm happy to go down there and grab him and drive him home. It'll be my car, of course, and fuel. <laughs> but you know what? How yeah, good's that for a fucking, for a miso? Because I, I, I didn't have a charge. I had a few beers. I, like, I couldn't drive home. So I knew I had her to drive. And... But to come all that way, you know, and support your son. And, you know, we don't do a lot of big functions and a lot of, a lot of crazy shit. We just... Us two dudes are quiet, and my partner's got kids, grown up, most of them grown up. But um, I think the next year, I'd say six months, I want to do a few trips and travel up here and there. You know, I love listening to Trev. I love listening to the Aussie Beer Channel. I love listening to Hef. I love listening to Roy, our wildlife man. I love doing a few videos, and sorry I forget people, but you know, fucking, you're here for a beer and a yarn, and tonight's a yarn, it's going to be predominantly a yarn, and, and I like that sometimes, man, my nose is clogged tonight too, like a mofo, okay, today's Saturday, Sunday tomorrow, and the hot rods have also been here at Yam, but the hot rod run. There's food stalls here today. Our little town's pumping, mate. That's such a good beer. That is just a hoppy, big, fruity, goddamn mess of a beer. I love it. I love it. Oh, pardon me for snorting and sniffing my way through this review. I will end it soon. I'm just probably rambling, but, you know, you get that nervous having a beer, like, you, you know, the Aussie beer channel, you know, your videos with your dad, like, sometimes you sit, I love him, mate, just seeing him smile. Parents can be a pain in the back, so we all get it. But good parents at the end of the day, we just give a shit about you, mate. And people will go, oh, I know, I know, I know, but you just don't. And even at 20 and 30, I thought I knew stuff, and I got it wrong. I got it wrong. You get your P's and your P2's, and you're flying around. You, feel, you know, they do. Some of them do. But when you come unstuck, there's going to be a person there going, I told you this is going to happen. Why? Because I've seen it so many times. I told you not to told you. And you've just got to sometimes go, the more you F around, the more you find out. You know? And I taught the teenager, I said, we get a car for him. I'm not going to go out and buy him a thousand dollar car. Unless it's a good car. But I picked up a little Astra. 90,000 Ks, or 86,000 Ks, or 90,000 Ks. One owner, 2018. Silver little hold, 1.4 turbo, which is P plate illegal. Mate, it's not a fucking powerhouse. It's, but you know what? It's a zippy little car to get you. I always say to you, now tell me if I'm wrong, isn't it good to have a car with a bit of grunt that can get you out of a problem? Not into it, but out of it. You know, when you're going on the highway and some prick's just sitting there on your right and he's away and let you just put the boom, go around, then drop back, you know, because pea players are on their 90. Or I should just say drop back and let them go. But, but you know, you're truck drivers and you've got to be respectful of them. Any truckies, heavy vehicles, uh, emergency vehicles, you know, people that want to use the right lane, just stay in the fucking left lane. <laughs> oh, where am I going? It's a yard, a mega yard, a 
国家。Except I'm snorting and sniffing. I got the Kraken can. I got another Kraken can in there. And I did a review last night, which was quite lengthy. I think it was a 13 minute one in front of the PC, but I didn't upload it. So if that was the Kraken review, I'm going to redo it. I might drop one tonight because I'm just here. And like I said, guys and girls, maybe I just need a yarn. And But it was so good seeing them. Anyways, as in the teenage, you know, what a beautiful night. Love each other, take care of each other, and I mean that. And thank you for subscribing. I got a few clickers, and look, I know you get the shits if I had to go over the long spiel, but I'll usually tell you if it's going to be a long one, because I've got a few people here who like the young. What a great beer. It's a like, I didn't do it before, because you all knew it would be beautiful, dirty, fruity, hoppy, delicious beer. Oh, stone of wood. You're sessionable, but this is nice. This is on tap. Like, if you had this on tap, you'd be sitting there just having three or four scoons of this. Like, you'd pay whatever, you know, compared to, I think, a can of $12 for a can of bourbon and coke, white can, you know, Jimmy, JD, I think it was 14 for a can, <laughs> they don't miss you mate, they don't miss you, $14, and you got to ask for a little, I always get a little seven, or a, a tall glass, oh, one of my favourite drinks, you ready, JD and coke in a tall glass, just a single nip, proper coke, which I don't drink a lot here and there, and I haven't done it, but I used to be a JD and coke in a tall glass guy. Today I had a couple of, it's funny, the sugar plays up with it. I mean, spirits has got sugar in it, obviously, and beer. But the Coke, I just, I'm not a Coke guy. Anyways, love each other, take care of it. Like I said, I will see you at the next one. I love you all. Peace out. And for anyone who gives a shit about us, you know, we're doing all right. And I thought the incense would add some, uh, some chi. Even though it's probably clogging my nose up like a... These are the cheap ones. I love the Nag Champers. I think they're... Are they Indonesian or Thai? The Nag Champer. And um, the different colours of them, the old school ones. I love them. But these ones I just got from the local cheap shop. and Oh, they smell okay. Yeah. Better than a fart in the bed anyway. Anyways. I'll see you at the next one. I love you all. Peace.